I don't seem happy in this video and it's because of you. <laughs> you can really tell. <laughs> it's because of you. It's getting more to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. As you know, every single now and again, I will do a beauty review and every time I get something from the store and I try it out, I wanna let you guys know how it goes and whether you should be spending your coins on it because who wants to spend a lot of money on something that's shit, right? Right. It is so another yeah. beauty review. It is the third installment of the collective beauty review and these are some of the products that I have used over the past couple of months and I'm going to share my thoughts and opinions about them with you guys. So if you would like to watch this video, you know what to do. Please keep watching. So the first thing needs no mention because I did speak about this product a little bit ago either on Instasnap or somewhere or mentioned it or did a routine about it with it or whatever. But this is the Sorbet Face First SPF 15 Anti-Aging Foundation and Serum. Now Nandi is the one who suggested that I buy a foundation from Sorbet, sort of try out their new makeup range. And I must say, I'm very, very impressed with this one. Um, I had it on maybe a video or two ago, check it out somewhere there. I was wearing it, it is a great, great match for me. Uh, my shade is Noisette, so anybody who is around the NC47, uh, um, what's this, Maybelline Fit Me Caramel line, Noisette would be the perfect, perfect shade for you. It's great, it comes in, um, uh, no complaints with the frosted glass, I really, really love that. It looks good and it comes with a pipette. So this, for me, is the one thing that I didn't quite appreciate because foundations that normally come looking like this tend to be quite messy. But with this one, yeah, there were those days where I would have a slip up and no one wants to mess up with foundation and white tops. Okay, I tried on a white top before I filmed this video. Foundation, it's a long story. But it is a little bit impractical. I don't quite like foundations with this kind of setup. I prefer either foundation sticks or uh, the ones with the pumps. Nevertheless, the product in itself is great. It gives a medium to full coverage, which is really, really nice. So if you're somebody who wants to cover up everything, if you've got scars, if you've got acne, if you've got all that jazz, then it's really, really good. It comes with SPF 15 anti-aging. 15 is not really that great, especially for women of color. You know, you want, you want your SPF to be high, high up there. But with foundation, if your S SPF is too high, then you know that um, the foundation will tend to have a lot of flashback when you take pictures. So SPF 15, it's better than it not having any SPF. For the most part, this retails for about 230. For the most part, it is a good foundation. So Bay, the range of products, I'm currently using some of the other products right now, testing those out. I'll let you know in another beauty review. But for the most part, it is a really, really good foundation. If you're somebody who likes high and full coverage with your foundation, then you definitely enjoy this. So getting the foundations out of the way, the second foundation is uh, more on the expensive side foundation. This is the Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick. Now I've had this for quite a number of years. Well, obviously I didn't, I haven't had it for years and years. I only purchased it. Um, I did, however, not speak about it on social media. I don't remember speaking about this. This for me is one of my favorite foundations, stick foundations. This is the um, foundation stick in Warm Almond. That's my shade, 6.5 Warm Almond. Really good. Foundation sticks are great because you can just, and then... I use this with my hands. I don't have to use it with a beauty blender or a brush. It is very, very easy. It's for those mornings when you're going to work and you are, you, you just don't have time. Work or school and you just don't have time. This is really, really good. It's quick, it's fast. The only thing is that I've noticed that with this foundation, I tend to get a little bit oily throughout the day, like my T-zone area will get a little bit shiny and then I'll have to pat down with a powder, but it's nothing to serious. Already as it stands, I have combination skin, so I do tend to get oily in my T-zone area, but I noticed that with this one, I tend to get a little bit more oily than other foundations. Nevertheless, it is great. Also good for high coverage, full coverage. Uh, I'm somebody who loves full coverage foundations. I also do like the whole skin-like finish, you know, the basic easy foundations. However, 
Man, when you when you're going out and you want to look fresh and you want to look good and all that jazz and you want to hide all the you know long night last night you know black eyes and everything these kinds of foundations are very very good for that they cover up everything so other than that is is very good this is a high-end product so this ranges around the 500 600 rand mark if you're somebody who knows but brown you know that their foundations are around the 600 rand mark so yeah yeah buy this knowing that it's something that you really would want to try and keep don't just wing it and buy something and then you hate it and then you've wasted 500 right? bought a palette since then whoops this is a palette that i recently got and this is the morphe day slayer 15d palette and it looks like that you're creating a shadow oh, shit. <laughs> it's, fine. it's fine okay so this is the Morphe 15D Day Slayer palette. Very, very nice palette. I've got this palette on my eyes today. Love, love it. It is very, okay. The only thing that I have an issue with with Morphe palettes is that the um, eyeshadows themselves, they're very, they crumble apart quite a lot, which makes things very, very messy. But then again, this is something that is, you know, even with the more higher end, like your Lorox and whatever, they do crumble, they're quite soft. And, uh, but because of that, the pigmentation is really, really good on this. I'm quite impressed. I love the colors. You guys know me, I love warm and neutral colors. But one of the colors that pulled me to this palette is this one right here. This is, uh, in the crease it's got really really nice colors it's got crease colors it's got uh, transition colors it's got a nice mix of shimmers and mattes and it's a great palette I got this palette from I see who makeup and I got it for around the 450 rand mark moving on to one of the most highly loved concealers that has recently hit the Maybelline scene and this is the Maybelline fit me concealer now I spoke about this concealer in a haul but now I've tried it hmm quite impressed it is a very creamy concealer which is nice but it is not a high coverage from uh, foundation it is not a high coverage concealer so meaning if you are somebody who wants who if you've got like really dark heavy color around the eyes that does not match with your face you might want a higher coverage concealer however this one is a light to medium finish so it doesn't really cover everything but it does give a nice little highlight around the eye area but it is not it is not it it will not cover up everything that's all i need to mention however for the price it's a great concealer it's creamy making it very very easy to blend which is nice as well there is a concealer from bobby brown that i'm not really a fan of because as much as it is uh creamy it's quite thick making it very 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 hard to blend but this one very easy just apply it there and then blah, 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 with your blender and then vibes you're done you're done you're done okay this i showed in a haul way back but i've been using it for quite some time now and this is the dove derma spa goodness silky body oil for velvety soft even looking and luminous skin i mean like really it's a mouthful they could have just said body oil for velvet whatever skin but i mean whatever body oil is great something about this oil is it, it's very rich it's a great oil it's not um it doesn't leave your skin feeling greasy i love this to apply it in the mornings before work because i like the fact that it sinks in very quickly i don't have time in the mornings yet. i need to go i need to go can't be just like you know rubbing and rubbing but this is really really good i'm actually quite impressed with this i've been using it for over a month now definitely over a month now so it lasts quite a long time as well uh i'm quite generous with it honestly i waste product i don't want to lie but i don't i don't throw it away i, I just use it more than i should but it's really really nice it's got little golden flecks in it which makes your skin very luminous like we are shiner we are shiner but like you've got like golden oh it looks really really nice you'll like it it's great the only problem i have is the price i don't quite remember it's between the 80 or 100 rand mark <sighs> kind of sucks to pay that kind of money for this size but time matter it's a splurge item it honestly really is a luxury me time kind of splurge item 
but definitely worth a try. It leaves your skin feeling very, very, it doesn't leave you like feeling like a grease ball. It's a dry oil. So it actually sinks in really nicely and leaves you moisturized. And I actually really, really like it. Okay. All right, so that is it from me. That is it for the third beauty review. I hope you guys definitely enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it for you. I mean, this, this is what I do. This is what I do. Uh, if you would like me to review anything else in particular, definitely let me know. And, you know, do, do the most. Subscribe, like, tell people about the channel. While you do that, I will see you guys in the next video. So, see you soon. Bye. Thank you.